Welcome to the Housework Workshop Vlog, episode 005, starting right now. now. Hey, what's happening there, YouTube? It's Brian House here for Housework, and today I am in the workshop with my son, Dexter House. And we are continuing on with the Knife Build Along series from the Knife Talk podcast. Now, if you're not familiar with the Knife Talk podcast, I'm going to put a link down in the description so you can go out there and check it out. Um, Brian House from Housework, he's done a build along with his son, and he's done this amazing video um, of it all, so you can go and take a look on YouTube. Thanks for the shout out, guys. Appreciate that. I wasn't a big podcast guy. I listened to a few here and there, but when I tuned into the Knife Talk podcast, I really found sort of my crew of people who I feel like I really connect with. Those guys are really amazing. And while I'm working in my workshop, and I'm not talking to this camera, I'm actually listening to that. So I highly recommend you go out there and check it out. They've got a lot of good content and a lot of really great ideas. One of those great ideas was actually putting this knife build along series together. I got turned on to it by Dustin over at the Art of Craftsmanship. And if you haven't checked out his channel, I highly suggest you do so. He is much further along uh, in his process than we are. We are kind of behind, but we're going to catch up, I think, today. Our goal for today is to drill the holes in the handle so that we can actually put the handle on at some point and then heat treat this blade. And also, uh, if we have time, I'm thinking we're going to get in the new grind room and actually put some bevels on this thing. Yeah. We actually got a gift in the mail from Turkey a few days ago, and we now have a bevel knife jig. I've never used one this sophisticated, so I'm really excited to use it. All right, you ready to do this? Yeah. All right, screw it. Let's do it. So you can see where we are right now. We've got the holes drilled for the pins. Those are those two holes right there. And then we've removed some of the weight from the handle using a larger drill bit. And what you saw Dexter using in there was a single fluted chamfer bit. And that is what created these beautiful chamfers on this blade. I mean, that's just top notch work, man. It looks really good. Thank you. Normally we wouldn't spend this much time putting beautiful chamfers into something that we're going to cover up, but I thought it was a good learning experience and he did an excellent job. Now we are going to move up to the top of the grind room. I actually have a little loft space up there where I move the kiln and we're going to heat treat this thing. Yeah, man. So we're going to set it in the kiln at 1550 degrees. We're going to do three thermal cycles. Let this thing warm up to temperature, then let it air cool. 
warm up to temperature, air cool, do that three times, and then we will quench it on the last one and get it nice and hard. Let's do it. So the heat treat went well, yeah? Yeah. So if you aren't familiar with our kiln setup, that's an old ceramic kiln that we converted to be a heat treating oven. I have a whole nother video on that. I'll put a link up in the corner here so you can check it out. Uh, it's a very simple, easy way to do it. You know, it requires some understanding of electronics and so on. But the way that that works is that it's got a thermal couple on the inside, it measures temperature, and then regulates solid state relays on and off, on and off. All right, so uh, the way you check a blade for hardness is to skate a, a file across the end, across one of the edges, and, and if it bites, then you know you did it wrong and you have to redo it. So there's always a little bit of scale on the outside. A lot of people think that their file is biting, but it's really just eating through the scale. Give another try. Go a little deeper, you can go in there. Oh, you hear that? All right, see how, see how it's... It's just taking off a little bit of the edge, but it's really skating across. Keep, keep doing it, you're going through the scale. So now I'm through that top layer of scale. Mm -hmm. And you hear that? See how it's skating across? Mm -hmm. No longer biting in. That means that it's actually a nice and hard blade. So uh, if you ever have that happen to you, I had this happen a few times and I couldn't really fully understand why my blades weren't getting hard. Um, it was because I was not actually getting through that top layer of scale. And once I got through it, I realized there's my hardness. Now we don't have hardness testing equipment like a Rockwell tester or anything like that. So we don't fully know how hard this blade is, but it's going to be hard enough for what we want to do. All right, it's the next day. We actually had to put the uh, blank into the tempering oven. We did two cycles, 400 degrees at two hours a piece. And now she is tempered and ready to grind. Dexter and I are here and we are really excited about using the new TR Maker knife bevel jig. It's uh, our first time and we're gonna figure this out together. But it doesn't look too complicated. It does look like it has a lot of options though, which I'm really excited about. So it's time to just kind of get it mounted and actually go through with the grind and see what happens. Yeah. We do need to mark our lines and everything and make sure we know where we're going to we're going to grind up to. But other than that, we're going to use this and the, the the stop jig and see what happens. All right, so we got our bevels in. This is uh, pretty much a rough grind at this point. It's not perfect. It, we were working the bugs out of the working with the jig, but I can tell you already 
that with a little bit of practice working with that TR Maker bevel jig is really gonna be sweet. I mean, I don't think I've ever had a bevel line quite that straight ever in my life. I'm super impressed with that and I am looking forward to doing more. It's getting late, we're gonna shut it down tonight. We'll probably be doing hand sanding again in another video. How did you feel about using the knife bevel jig? It's so much better. It, it felt really nice, and it was a lot faster, too. Waste so much time trying to line it up right, and make sure that it was, it was good. But now with the, the TR Maker bevel jig, we, wouldn't, we don't have to really waste that much time. Yeah, I think just setting it up and getting it properly set up first really helped. And then just playing around with the angles and stuff. The more we use it, I think the better we're going to get with it. Yeah. For sure. Definitely. It's going to improve our knife game for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no doubt. If you got something out of today's video, make sure you hit that thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button and hit that little bell so you get a notification every time we upload something to YouTube. There are links down in the description that will take you to our Amazon store. Everything you see right here in our workshop, including that TR Maker bevel jig, are included down in the description. You can find all that stuff and buy it right online. And if you do that, it gives us a little bit of a commission, and that's a free way to support our channel. Now, if you want to take your support to the next level, we do have a Patreon page now. For as little as $1 a month, you can support everything we've got going on right here in our workshop. If you don't want to use Patreon, you can click the buy me a coffee and buy us a coffee. We love coffee. Also, there is one more way to support our channel. If you look down below, you'll see a link to our t-shirt Teespring store. And if you go in there, you'll see a lineup of really cool stuff with cool housework logos on them. And we get a little bit of a commission if you buy some. I ended up supporting the Art of Craftsmanship in Dustin's channel because I really love his work and I wanted to wear his shirts in my videos. So I went ahead and bought one from him. It's a good quality shirt and I really like it. This episode has been dedicated to our buddy, Eddie D. Ed, I hope you get better, man. Ed's been in the hospital with a little bit of a heart issue and now he is finally home and he's resting. He's a good friend of ours, we love him. Send Ed some good energy down in the comments, tell him to get better and then he can come in here and hopefully make a knife with us. Thanks for watching guys, we hope to see you on the next video. I'm Brian House. This is Dexter House. And this has been Housework. Housework.